week, everybody talks about Air Force and the way that they would hold on to the ball. So do you look at just how efficient you have to be on offense and maximize your chances of your possessions? I think so, yeah. That, that's pretty much how we're looking at it. We, we need to make the most of every time we get the ball and capitalize on the opportunities that we have. I think we need to get started offensively a little bit early. I think we've struggled with that in the past couple of weeks. So need to help the defense out a little bit in that area of the game and put some points up early. I would assume you guys always feel like a sense of urgency on offense, but does it feel magnified because of the way they control the ball at times? I think it's important to recognize that they do like to hold the ball for a while and that we do need to capitalize this week for sure. Jakey, what's it like uh, defensively facing this attack? And obviously run heavy, but they're really efficient passing. Kind of from your, your position, how do you kind of view this challenge? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a real disciplined week. Our eyes got to be in the right place like every single play because you really don't know. Like run or pass, they've been passing a little more than they have in recent years. But I mean, it's just about discipline this week and just execution. How does the mindset kind of change on defense to control the clock, get them off the field? The mindset this week is just hit everything you see and um, <laughs> get them behind the sticks. Even like third and like seven plus, that kind of put them in a situation that they're not really used to being in. I think every run for them is about like four yards, four yards, four yards. So their third downs are really manageable for them. So just getting them behind the sticks is like our main thing. Does it get frustrating for you all? for you at all as a defensive back, knowing that Air Force is just going to run at you almost every play? I would say last year, yeah, but I mean, I've been trying to tackle everybody this year. I mean, so, I mean, to me, it's just a different type of challenge. Sticking with that, Chiggy, is, it, is there a key to not getting so frustrated and knowing they, they might pick up a first down or two on a given possession and not try to, you know, really get too, too down on yourselves as a defense? I mean, yeah, if you guys saw last game, I mean, they would drive the ball and just end with field goals, so I mean, I mean, they're going to get some plays. They're on scholarship, too. But um, it's just a first down isn't going to end the game for us. So just have a You know the Air Force, their offense is going to be on the field a lot. How do you kind of, you know, shift your mindset to try and stay ready as you sit on the sidelines for maybe more than you're used to? I mean, I think, I think it's very similar to the last response, understanding we need to capitalize and um, – being very efficient with communication on the sideline because we are going to have more time. So I think it's important to capitalize that on that as well rather than just sit there and wait and wait and wait. Talk to my boys and see what they're seeing and kind of get a, a, a good idea of what we're going to have coming out on the next drive. Brayden, you mentioned that you just need to start faster. Can you pinpoint or, or what, what are some of the keys that have kind of you know, led to the, the earlier struggles the last couple of weeks? I think just taking advantage of opportunities. We've, we've had plenty of opportunities to do it. Um, me personally, I need to be better at that, seeing those little things, seeing those little keys and capitalizing on them and kind of trusting that. I think early in the game I've kind of had my doubts because I'm like, I've seen it all week in film, but what if? Um, rather than that, just trusting what I've seen all week and understanding that if something different does pop up, we can make adjustments, but I need to trust what I've been seeing all week in practice. Is that some of just kind of the growing experience, getting game experience as opposed, like you say, practice and film, like just the more you see, the more you learn and are comfortable with all that? A hundred percent, yeah. I, I mean, those game reps um, are very beneficial for that and kind of eliminating that doubt that I have had early on. Jude, how beneficial is the, the Boise State film for a week like this? Obviously, Boise is another run-heavy team, and in that game in the first half, you guys in offense were struggling to kind of get some momentum going. Do you kind of look at that film and, and kind of see, you know, areas of where you guys can improve that, that can be beneficial this week? 100%. I mean, every, every week offensively helps understanding, no matter how many possessions you're going to have, understanding those little keys to find and take advantage of those. But I think Boise specifically, definitely the struggles we had in the first half, um, being able to uh, pick those keys up and kind of capitalize on them. Chigi, we talked the oddity of your week two bye, and that was going to lead to 11 straight games. So you played six of them. As a veteran player, have you been more aware of getting your rest, taking care of your body? Do you see that kind of throughout the team? Yeah, no, for sure. So, I mean, sleep has been, like, a real important thing. I usually go to sleep kind of early, like 9, but, like, I've been going to sleep, like, 8.30, 8 o'clock just to, just to get the extra recovery. And I think, I mean, we have those watches, the whole team kind of. So mm -hmm. we've been really prioritizing recovery and just making sure we're able to play fast when we hit Saturday. 
Is this something you guys are seeing more guys in like taking time in the tubs, um, doing what they can in the strength, you know, in the weight room to kind of recover? Yeah, no, for sure. I think um, our recovery has been probably like the main thing that we have to get done. I mean, we have a mix of old guys and young guys. Like me being a sixth year, I mean, it's not the same as like when I was 18 years old running around and able to come back on Mondays and be 100% fresh. So just getting the ice baths, getting with the trainers, getting uh, extra time with Coach Hope in there, stretching and stuff is like really big. Okay, this Air Force offense has replaced a lot of guys from the team you played <clears throat> last season, specifically with Larry or the quarterback. What um, what do you see on film that kind of impresses you about what he's been able to do for that offense? This yeah, they're really efficient. Um, he's a lot um, better athlete than I think he gets credit for. So I think um, – well, us is just not going in there underestimating them. I think athlete for athlete, I don't think it's close, but they're efficient in what they do. So I think we just have to go in there and respect everything they do. Coach talked when he was in here about the message messaging to you guys. Like the week before when you won that game, he said there were about two dozen plays. All of them had to be made for you to win that game. Last week, you didn't make those plays. But they can happen anywhere in the game. How did you guys take that message? What did you take from it? Um, I think... He's pretty spot on with that statement. I think we all saw it. There was a couple of key plays in there where we, we really could have uh, put that game away last week. That that third and four we had, um, just not a great decision by me on that last play. It gave him a little too much time and put the defense in a tough spot. I think that's one of those key plays. Understanding um, what we need and not trying to do too much in those situations is really important. Uh, and then just kind of that game awareness, just understanding situations and um, capitalizing on those opportunities. When you look at those plays, does it put your season somewhat in perspective and give you an idea of how you move forward? Absolutely. I think the, all those plays are very easily um, convertible, all those first downs that we need to get um, offensively to keep them off the field, not making them go to the bench and then straight back on the field. I think extending those drives and staying out there for longer periods of time where they can get some rest and we can make the most of our opportunities is really important moving forward. Because yeah, you guys see it a lot on defense too. I mean, there, I'm sure there are plays that you would like to take back, coverages, missed assignments. Yeah, I mean, just even just last game, we had two drop picks at six points off the board. They scored field goals both those times and it's a whole different, like any what we're talking about is going to be way different. So I think, um, just capitalizing on every opportunity, um, making the plays that we should make um, is probably the main thing. Great. In your first year as a starter, I'm sure it's pretty obvious that you learn something new kind of every week. Do you find yourself kind of eager to go back and, and watch the film as kind of as soon as the game's over, just to kind of see what you what you can do better? Absolutely. I mean, there's there's always those plays that are the what ifs right after you're you're kind of thinking, especially in a close loss like that year. It's always like, what if I had done this? What if I had made that check? So I think it's it's really important for me to be able to go back and watch those. And yeah, I mean, after the game, it's always kind of a, what are those couple plays, like he was saying, that could have really changed the game. Dallin was getting some pretty big buzz last week for you know potential Mackey Award, kind of things like that. For you, have you ever played with a, a tight end like this? And kind of what has he done for you personally on the field? I, I've always, I can say, uh, I've luckily always been surrounded by some pretty great players, high school and now college, but Dallin is special. I mean, me personally, obviously I'm biased, but he's definitely the best tight end in the country. And so being surrounded by someone like that, and then obviously we have Torrey, LB, J. Ross, Dylan, all those guys, it's, it's, it's pretty special knowing you got those guys out there surrounding you that you can kind of rely on in dire situations. Standpoint, I know you guys talking every week's the same. Keep it on. But when you bring in a ranked team, does it amp up the excitement level for a game coming in? I think this game, outside of them being ranked, um, we could both be 0 and 11. Us playing Air Force, a team we haven't beaten in a while, a rivalry game. Um, it's this. It's going to be the energy is going to feel a little different. I mean, um, I don't care if they're ranked number one in the country. Um, they're going to have to play us, and we're going to have to just line it up on the field and play. So I think. Uh, it just being a rivalry game. I love the fact that they're ranked undefeated and they're beating everybody because you have to line up and do it against us. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.